Silencio. Hello all, welcome to Robenso Training. It's a continued video for the course Advanced Network Exploitation Expert. Myself, Rikun Sindwad, and I will be your instructor for this entire journey. I hold over five years of experience in cybersecurity. I'm a red teamer at work. I also do security researcher and hold multiple CVs. Couple of articles are published over Pentest magazine, OSCP, OSW, and OSCP certified from offensive security. The course Advanced Network Exploitation Expert helps you to build core knowledge against network security and penetration testing. It is designed for everyone with the basic understanding for the cybersecurity domain, like basic networking and the basic pen testing things. An example would be anyone with the knowledge of CEH. Post completion of the course, you will able to gain core concept understanding over various topics, perform internal or external penetration testing, perform extensive network assessment, find security misconfiguration within Active Directory environment, able to do privilege escalation over Windows and Linux machines, write automation scripts and many more to go. Please read the disclaimer before moving ahead with the course content. So we are continuing a chapter that is web for shell and we are already done with SQL injection to shell, file inclusion to shell and now we are starting with command injection uh, that itself is a, a kind of a co command execution, OS command execution if I be specific here. And yeah, we'll be learning all the basic things in this particular video. Basic things means how exactly web application leverages commands execution directly through the web application functionality what i mean uh, you're gonna get uh, get it like in a short short time or no time i would say so yeah command injection basically that's a vulnerability where an attacker injects os command operating system commands into the web application functionality that will gonna be evaluated later on whenever that is being executed and in order to understand that we must understand how this web application executes any of the OS command. So for this particular task, I have chosen to go with the PHP because it's easy to understand and it's really, really best one to uh, deal with. So that's being said, let's just move towards some practical concept. And yeah, so basically PHP offers few functions. Uh, for an example, shell exec is one of the function. So what that shell exec will gonna do? That shell exec will going to execute OS command that is being specified. Let's understand few topics before moving ahead. So what I'm gonna do, I'll quickly uh, start my interactive PHP console. And in this particular PHP console, what I'm gonna do, I'll just try to utilize this particular function that is shell exec. So, what are gonna be, it's like, uh, let's say, uh, it will gonna echo, echo whatever is the output for the particular function that is shell underscore exec and whatever value we will going to specify here. So I'm gonna specify, let's say, um, who am I, right? As this particular user, Kali is executing this, then I'm expecting this to be result as Kali and that's what it is. Instead of this who am I, let's change it to something like ID and so on and so forth. So basically your PHP or any other language offers you some of the functions. That functions can be leveraged to execute OS commands. And this is what we will going to uh, dig a little deeper. So let's get started in that term. I have already designed few pages. Uh, that is on the PHP part and with the minimal efforts of coding. So let's host it very quickly, similar to what or how we did in our LFI or file inclusion vulnerability demonstration. So let's get started. CMDI is the folder and I'm gonna start server, PHP server, if I be specific on a particular port that is 80. Now accessing this ping, let me just quickly go with that http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 and it's ping.php here we go 
we have this nice decent page. You might have seen similar kind of functionality in any of the web application that allows you to ping a particular target or do certain uh, executions, right? Certain uh, command line execution things. So this is one of the example one of the example where you provide IP address and let's say I provided 127.0.0.0.1. And if I hit enter, I have the response back. And that response contains ping response of this particular uh, IP address, right? And if I back, move back to my code, uh, just to explain how the things worked here, then it will be little time saving. So here, the very first thing is the target. Target is a variable that will going to get input through the get parameter that is IP. So if I see here, you will find this IP as a parameter and this parameter value returns 127.0.0.1. So if I just copy it out, I'll just have it here. This is what the value for this particular target. Now what I'm gonna do, it will merge that with a particular command. So it, it is something like command is ping hyphen c1 this is just for linux in windows it, it will be n so as i know this will be just on a linux so for that reason i use this way so what it's gonna do it will gonna con concatenate this particular value along with this so let me just quickly copy uh, this part and add it in a comment so ping hyphen c1 and whatever we have specified here so this would be the whole command and now this particular command is being sent through the shell exec. As you see, the command is passed to a function that is shell exec. So it's something, if I move back to my interactive shell of PHP, uh, and if I just copy and paste this command, here we go. This will gonna return something identical. Makes sense, right? So yeah, this is what an example of PHP. The rest of things that you see here, those are HTML part, excluding this particular part. So it will gonna just print a particular data that is CMD variable data. And that variable will going to contain whatever is the output for this particular function. If the, if the function has some output, it will gonna print. It will go, if the function has some error, it will eventually gonna print. For an example, if I'm just writing any, uh, non-available non binary, then it, it will gonna give me an error with the SH that pings not found, right? Similar to what if I go from the browser, it will gonna go, it will gonna give me the error. But yeah, here I'm not really accepting any, uh, any program name because whatever I write through this uh, target variable, it will gonna be merged with this specific prefix, right? So similar to what, uh, there is another example that I would like to add here, uh, that is exec.php. So let me uh, show you that as well, exec.php. And here we go. What we're gonna do, it will allow us to do execute OS commands. And for an example, if I type who am I, it will gonna return, if I type IP config, it will gonna return whatever the, uh, sorry, it's IF config. There is an error. Let's go with the ID and here we go. We get the response back. So now how exactly this code work? Let's just understand. Here, it will gonna have a check uh, whether uh, there is a get parameter CMD is specified. If that is specified, then it will move to this particular block. Elsewhere, it will not gonna, right? So this entire block is within this particular if statement. I can just right click and format. Teams format is placed um no problem Let, let's keep it this way only for now or maybe i can do manually that should be fair perfect now again instead of that shell exec there is a different function that is exec and that is also identical to the same like shell exec so if i use instead of the shell exec if i use just exec hit enter, it will gonna be working identically. For an example, who am I? Here we go, it works, right? 
So we are just understanding some basic things. Um, this is another way of executing OS command. And there are many more. So if I navigate to my particular uh, Robensive blog page, uh, you will find the same information there. So not just shell exec, there are other like exec pass through. So if you just click, you will be redirected to uh, their manual and it's best way to learn a particular function. The pass through is again, a function what it will want to do it will going to return execution uh, return whatever the command you want to execute so here it says pass through whatever the command you want to be executed and it will going to be working for an example echo dollar path is one of the basic example so i can just use it as it is and here we go it executes that particular command in inside the shell context right so that's uh, one of the case, second one is system, third one is proc open. Some of the pro some of the function uh, needs additional arguments that you might require. So you can always uh, read the documentation, understand what exactly it is being uh, done or how exactly it, it can be used uh, in order to understand further. So yeah, however, I have already explained few of the ways. So here uh, is the different commands that you can utilize and yeah, that is something what I have planned for the basic. So as you are aware, how the web application able to execute OS command, now it will be easier for you to understand the injection part. So that's it, that's all. I hope you liked it. And if you did, hit that like button. And yeah, if you love it, then please subscribe. And yeah, see you in the next video. Next video or next topic that will be on the injection part. So that's it, that's all. See you next time.